Today we're checking out Cult of the Lamb. This is a very much Harvest Moon Rune Factory inspired roguelite. It's also got influences from Isaac, Don't Starve, just general colony management, inscription. I would even say Animal Crossing, but this game got recommended to me by my friend Brad, who is a, a big gamer and has very good taste in these types of things. And I knew that if he liked it, uh, I would probably get addicted to it. Um, I'm, I'm about two hours in. It has incredible visuals and sound design. Just a game I would gladly take on a long plane ride uh, with a laptop with me, and as I've got one coming up right now. But there is also just an overwhelming amount of content in this game. The main game loop is that here we are in our cult, and we are playing as the lamb who has been sacrificed but has made a deal with the devil so that he can come back to the real world and have a cult of his own so we're trying to convert to other like kind of rejected animals we're kind of like the land of forgotten toys here but with a lot of just sort of animal looking creatures that are strangely cute and cultish at once anyway lots of themes going on here uh, and I find myself out of breath whenever I try to talk about it but it's not just a colony manager there's also dungeon crawling like in rune factory where we go out into the world and we could travel to one of several other locations, among which there are many things we can do. We can go play this sort of like dice inscription-like mini game over here, or we could do a fishing mini game over in this section, and that also will get you lots of resources. There's so many different ways to play this game, but the main one is through a dungeon crawler, um, which is very much like Isaac slash Legend of Zelda. And anytime I look over at chat, I, I am just a alarmed at the number of things that I that I do not know about this game because there are so many secrets in it. But um, anyway, I guess we'll just go through one dungeon crawling and come back to our cult so that we can take care of our followers. We're gonna pick up the uh, main weapon which we got, which was an ax. And then what is our, well, we can't really mouse over it, but we could, okay, so we got kind of a lob this time as our ability. I don't seem to be getting hurt by my lob. But there's all different kinds of powers you can get, so there is some weapon variety, and I'm told that there's a lot more the more you play the game. Um, because, like I said, there's just a dizzying amount of content in this game. So if you love Isaac or any of those other aforementioned games, um, probably worth a look. Did I say Bastion too? Just the, the amount of beauty in this game. Just the sheer beauty of it brings me back to Bastion when that came out a few years ago. Um, okay, we appear to have... This is actually a new room. I have not even encountered this one yet. This is, seems to be a sacrifice room. I'm not actually going to do that because I've not hitherto forth done so well with sacrificing health for, uh, <laughs> for <laughs> other benefits. Though we did get vampiric weapons. I didn't actually read the bio for this one. Is this one vampiric? And this looks like a good place for a lob. Now we are generating, I believe it's either Fury or Rage, I can't remember what it's called. But it's basically like the ability currency, and we poisoned this guy. Man, so much enemy variety too, I, I thought we had seen them all, but... Just everything in this game is so beautiful. I can tell that this is a game that I would rather play than watch, so I, I regret that I might not end up doing a lot of this on YouTube, but I really wanted to show off this game while it was still new. Um, we've also got a couple of quests on the side. These are related back to our cult at our base and some of our followers, but... I mean, we're kind of out here, like, being the dad for the cult. Here we go. I wasn't dodge rolling enough the last time, right? I was asking for tips, and I was... Here we go. Dodge roll. Dodge roll every two seconds. There we go. Out of the way. And... Uh, darn... Really not doing too well. Any game that involves coordination and not just explaining things like you understand them when you don't is not really up my alley. <laughs> Especially when I'm streaming. Uh, but I am I am at, at least average at these games when I am on my own. Just the uh, Maybe we just need to play more roguelites. They never really have done that crazy well on this channel, but I always find roguelites fun because they kind of consume my whole attention. All right, so we get to pick one of these cards. We get to pick a, a curse or a bless, or what is it? Um, curses consume 50% less fervor. So this would be really good. This looks like a, an a extra upgraded one. Um, yeah, this means that we get to use our abilities more, so we'll do that. There we go. Hmm. 
I am told that whether the pathways have brimstone on them. Or a floral arch. This is something for our base. Oh, this is a decorative piece for our base. See, isn't this like Don't Starve? I like that. Don't you like that? That's nice. That's nice. Okay, so now we get some Slay the Spire action. So we can either get another follower. This is, I, I want to say, a store. Is this a boss here? Like a mini boss? We get more resources. I may need some food, but I would also like to plan some health at the end before we fight against the big boss. So let's go ahead and get ourselves another follower. I'd say that this is the main thing that happens in this game is go to a dungeon, get another follower. We're going to teleport this poor guy back to our base. And man, I got to keep dodging. I'm not dodging, man. There we go. I do like how it slows down time. Though. Granted that I am just very bad at combat in these games. Mm, good, I'm gathering more fury than I was before. Let's just stay at range. Just stay at range. Don't go anywhere near them. Okay, so this poor cow has been trapped for so long. It's like those YouTube videos. Cow trapped, life changed when adopted. You ever go down that rabbit hole on YouTube? <laughs> you might say that he was the goat. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, Jesus. Now, I would like it if you could craft, like, some kind of potion in the dungeon. I'm guessing it's just something that I haven't, like, unlocked yet. But it, it seems as though every time I, uh, I go through another run, I just find, like, 20 new things. Like, we just found about out about vampiric weapons. That's cool. We got another half a heart. That's also cool. I like everything I see. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and steal this devotion. Devotion is used for our followers back at our base. I swear to God, I'm gonna spend the next hour and a half just pointing out mechanics. I'll try to put down like timestamps just so that I can um, explain some of this. Or maybe it'll become one huge mess. Ooh, this was a bad room. Will we get it? No, I didn't get a heart. Sometimes you do get a heart in a room. It's not totally hopeless. A little bit like of an undermine in that. But I guess there's a lot of games that just kind of go by that formula. Hmm. Like that. Let's try using our lob actually this time. Okay, good. We took out one of the horrible threats. But my axe is also quite powerful. It's not really like a DPS weapon. Hmm. But I find that like one big swing into a dodge is, is the best for me. Colon closing parenthesis. A McNutty, I thank you very much for the sub. And the happy face. Uh, just it's cutting the grass is it feels so right in this game. I don't know why it's playing this game alone is ASMR, but the music that they picked too is also very distinctive and just different. Okay, so we got a knockback attack. Are these all level five? Divine Blast looks pretty good. All of these are level five. Man, our natty is no longer ill. So stuff is happening at our base, even without us being there. I did like that black Ikor from before, but this looks pretty good too, so we'll take that. Um, Don't believe we have any kind of secrets that can get us back health in this area, though. At least as far as I've discovered yet. Music is good, but there's also very little of it. That's fair. Maybe it's because I haven't been playing as long that I haven't really picked up on that. But the sound design in general is great. There we go. Good. Okay, didn't get anything there, but I am going to try to get some of these bones. Because bones will help us in rituals when we get back to our base. Like, we'll be able to use these... The bones of our enemies to erect these giant bone and wood structures to, like... Give our cult advantages. Now you'll also probably notice that there's like a day-night cycle going on here, which might seem a bit bizarre, um, even while we're in the dungeon. But that is to say that it's sort of like a real-time game, that even while we're in the dungeon, we get the sense that something's happening at the base with our cult back there at home. Uh, we did just get what I'm just going to call a soul heart, the blue hearts. Okay, here's where we should be able to get back some health. All right, what are we fishing for? What are we fishing? My love took my heart to sea. The sea, she took my heart to the sea. 
Tis where my heart will be. Will be in her bed at the bottom of the... All right. He met his wife at Bed Bath & Beyond. Might have been sitting there for many years. Even her face is... Uh, that's kind of sad. I... See what I mean, like, with the Animal Crossing? It feels like it. Thank you for being cool and doing cool videos. Hey, thank you for being so cool and giving me 1,000 bits. Hey, thank you very much for the 1,000 bits, Sabax. I appreciate that. More only cool videos coming up. Wow, I feel very healthy. Like I just got a whole, I don't know, maybe a colonoscopy or something from being in here. My god, this is so much more health than I had in the other locations. Jesus. Look at how many soul hearts we got from that. I can't even get the one that went over there. How can we engage this kind of power in other areas? Yeah, thank you for the tips. I, I know that there is an... It's kind of like... I had played Binding of Isaac for years, but then I started streaming it on Twitch. Like, I had 100 hours in the game. I know that's not a lot, but I... A lot of people play more games than I do. So for me, 100 hours before I started creating YouTube videos was a lot. But, that is to say... Oh, we found the Vampiric Dagger. Chance to heal the wheeler using the life force of a slain foe. More Flaming Shot 5. Well, we already had that opportunity. Let's just see if we can get this. Mmm... 2.8 damage versus 1.4. I'm honestly gonna take the axe only because I've already got all these soul hearts, guys. I'm not gonna come down to that in this last boss fight, I'm pretty sure. Now, I know I'm leaving a couple of things too, but that is to say, you know, Binding of Isaac, I played for years, but I didn't discover half the secrets that I learned from people in Twitch chat. Um, I learned so much more about the game just from playing it on here. So, one of those games that I would recommend streaming, or I don't know, watching the stream of somebody who really knows what they're doing a few weeks into release, but I just thought it'd be fun to show off. Hmm. Now that Vampiric Dagger is starting to look a little more attractive, can we go back there and change our mind? Just as we're getting down to the end of these soul hearts. There we go. Yeah, like, you know, if you're not really huge into like for for perspective I, I really don't have that many hours in a lot of games because I spend more time editing them but I think I have like 600 700 hours oh we know more like 700 in Project Zomboid and Rimworld like games that I've maimed on my channel uh, which really doesn't sound like that much to many people but you know um, kind of tend to think of myself more as a creator of stories than a, as a like a pro gamer I guess I could ah, I wanted to execute that right there that would have been so much better like right when they were all surrounding me it could also be that the mouse is like a bit too precise for this game and that it's meant to be done with a controller because I can kind of feel myself like cringing at myself you know as I play this game with a mouse and keyboard, and I should have a controller, really. Okay, I guess we've got, uh, no choice. We're just gonna go in against the big boss. Are we gonna be going against the same boy again? It appears, yeah, we are gonna be doubling over this boss fight. This did not go well the last time, but hopefully it will go better this time. I think we're better set up. Oh, did I miss the, uh, I missed the card room. I thought that that was this room, but apparently they're one right on top of each other. Okay, so apparently this game doesn't make geometric sense. As well as being extremely beautiful. But like I said before, I think that these boss fights are very readable. You know, like... How is it? When he spews slime everywhere in a second, Leshy, we're fighting... Look at how readable Leshy's attacks are. I actually think that's a very difficult like art design concept to nail in a game that has so much art going on in it. You know what I mean? Because there's so many games like this that I get keys for in my email inbox that look great, but I can tell that I won't, they won't make sense to play on stream just because 
they don't have that like system to them. They don't have the simulation. But this game has the simulation going as well as, you know, like the beauty, the beauty of the art. Has this vampiric weapon worked at all for us yet? I'm starting to regret taking this thing. Nope, I gotta dodge, I gotta dodge. Here we go, so far this vampire weapon has not really worked out too particularly well for us. Let's see if we can finish him off fast. Okay, I'm just gonna have to take the damage, I'm tanking it, I'm tanking it. Come on, please give me some vampire stuff. Man, vampire merch, that was so many enemies at once. Jesus Christ. This boss is actually turning out to be very hard. Very, very hard. All right, well, I died. Again. But I'm proudly dead. And at least you get to see the main area that I came back to, and we will come, become stronger. All right, so we're going up against the one who waits. Uh, this is the... Or we aren't going to fight him, but this is the... Like, the devil that we made the pact with. And he wants us to keep coming back to life, so he's just gonna keep resurrecting me from the dead. Sending me back to the cult. But yeah, that's pretty much Cult of the Lamb. Um, your death has made your followers think you're weak, so... Clearly they don't think very highly of me, but I'm just gonna give them a speech and lie to them and tell them that I'm great. So that, uh, they'll like me again. We have a lumber yard. Follower will generate... Wood. Oh, so is this separate from our main thing? Anyway, we died, but we came back to our main area, and that's fine, because... You know, we'll get stronger, and it doesn't seem like we can really mess this up. Unless we keep doing it. I guess we'll take the lumber yard. Eventually, we're gonna run out of wood, right? Give me that. Good, this will start to automate our stone, and our... Guys, I'm turning into an old man. I'm not as good at games anymore. Please be understanding with me. Yeah, the issue with... So that was the thing, that that vampire weapon actually only healed us on kills, not on just damage. So it couldn't really hold up against that boss. I probably should have taken out more of those worms, but alas. Anyway, you're going to get to see some more of the colony building stuff now. It can get a bit grindy, but now I'm starting to see where the satisfaction lay, you know? Like, clearly this is a roguelite, because I think I was a bit outclassed by that boss when I first fought him. Um, which is now that was the second time I've tried it. Because I have been playing this for a bit. But yeah, we'll see if we can get through another dungeon. Maybe take out Leshy for good. I'm excited to take out Leshy, because he's like the end of a series of smaller bosses. I've been fighting all of these mini bosses up till now. But, oh, that's so nice. Look, you're doing the planting for me. I really appreciate that, actually. Or just the watering, but I, I do appreciate the watering, though. This is less time that I have to waste on you. Here we are. Let's go back and have a sermon. All right, everyone. Uh, it's had another out outstandingly successful crusade. Uh, come in and hear about it. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to do our sermon. We're going to make our followers loyal again. We didn't get full loyal there, but they're still okay with that. Why do we have enough to do a ritual? No, we're still on cooldown here. We could cause someone to ascend. That sounds interesting, so let's do it. Do I get to pick? Oh no, just somebody ascends. Alright, uh... I don't know what this is 20% more of, but Brenar, you look vulnerable, so let's just put you in there. Good. Now we're going to... Yeah, good, you're ascending. So I picked the good one. We could also sacrifice him. That would have... Wait, did he... Yep. Uh, uh. <laughs> so funny, right? <laughs> so funny that I should have just said that. Okay, so Brenar is... Uh, he's in a much better place now, so ignore that. Um, let's go ahead and see. We've got doctrines. Afterlife. I believe that was the thing that we just did. Yeah, here we go. Law and order. So this was... You do have some choice here. We could have done the bad thing where we accused him of sin. But instead, uh, we just got him, um... Yeah, you know, we just, uh, killed him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jim the Legend, thank you very much for, uh, for the little raid. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you very much for coming out. Hang on a second. 
playing uh, Cult of the Lamb here. We just got another stone. Good. There it is. Let's collect the loyalty reward here. And we're going to get another stone. Good. And I believe this is going to allow us to unlock, if we go right back to where we were, another ritual. This is what I mean when I say that this game just has an alarming amount of content. Uh, is that crown or is that... No, it was crown, my bad. Crown offering. So this is going to make us stronger in the dungeons, I believe. Our cult will come back in and empower me. Oh no, this is going to make our cult. See, like I said, there's just so much content, it is a bit hard to keep track of it. Um, teach them the true meaning of obedience. Proffer both labor and love. Reassure them that death is not the end. Some of these things are a little vague as to what exactly they're giving. Let's just keep going with obedience. I think we gotta keep our clan obedient, because I keep dying. All right, uh, realistic, I mean, ritualistic p fit fight pin. Perform a ritual at your temple in which two followers fight to the death, unless you're feeling merciful. Or perform a ritual at your temple so you can marry one of your followers, gain 30 faith. Um, this is like randomly kill one of two people. Sounds interesting. Let's try it. Declare a new doctrine. Now, as you can see, you could kind of take your cult in many different ways. Like, you could be very peaceful and good. I had somebody ascend, but I also could have sacrificed somebody here. Like, kind of going back on that. Like, two guys fight to the death. That sounds pretty metal. Uh, yeah, let's have that. I can't take care of all of you. Rituals? Um, fight to the death. Okay. Who is not that helpful? You're looking kind of hungry, so we'll, you'll be one of the fighters. And you're also pretty hungry. All right, fight to the death for me. Show me how much you love me. <laughs> They're just, okay, oh, that was very. So what happens here? So we actually get to like, let them, all right, we'll live. I, I don't want to run that low on followers. I guess we just get a, another card. Okay, so, like, it could be a peaceful fight to the death. Like, a mutually respectful, um, you know, engagement. So what do we get? Okay, so this is going to give us two soul hearts for the next dungeon. Actually quite good. Or we just unlocked that one? I believe we just unlocked it, yeah. And so there is, like I said, an alarming amount of content. Yeah, King of the Furries. <laughs> it's Fallen Shogun. What's up, brother? How you doing? Have you checked out this game yet? This is a good game. It's it's got a lot of content to it, and I'll I'll say that like I'm feeling like it's a hybridized version of many things, and I still sort of have yet to. Hang on a second. What are you doing? Oh, you're just like me a lot. I feel like I have yet to get to that Animal Crossing. Hang on a second. This guy is dying of poop smell. So there is poop around the base that we need to clean up as well. If we could just thank you, magic chest, I appreciate that. Man, these beds keep breaking. I wonder if there are better beds that they can get. But supposedly the game has a lot of automation in it as well. So like as you get, they're there. Stop being sick. Rest in your bed. Have a nice day. Let's collect the reward from our natty. We didn't kill him, good. I forgot that we didn't kill him. And collect another reward from our natty. Good, we got... Oh, so this has increased the devotion. That's helpful. Although I had pretty much max devotion cap. The one thing I will say is I do get a bit scatterbrained with just the amount, the sheer number of goals going on at once. Um, but it does kind of feel like a whole universe of games in one. So like I said, kind of nice for getting lost on a plane ride or something like that. Oh, darn, I accidentally fed him a cannibal meal? Oh, I wish I had seen this. I wasn't reading that. <laughs> oh, well, too bad. Yeah, I'll learn to like it. Let's see what happens if we go out at night. Like divine inspiration. I think we're good here. Ah, shelters. Maybe this will be better than, like, sleeping bags, yeah. Just a little bit more stable. They won't fall apart as easily. Now we can go into the building menu over here. We've got somebody watering all these crops, and let's go ahead and plant these ones. 
But we can start to automate more of these things as we go through. So maybe we'll plant some more farm plots. Make sure we've got our whole, our group fed. Yeah, like we have enough for getting these farm plots ready, but I don't know if I want to use up these gold coins. Um, we're going to need a lot more wood, I'm starting to see. And there's just none left here. What is that, a spider? Let's go ahead and see if we can build one of those. Here we go, economy. We need wood to get more wood, so. <sighs> Guys, we need, uh, we need wood, yeah. <laughs> we really desperately need wood. Let's get cow into our cult. Now we could change cow's appearance, but I prefer, so you're not gonna be so good at generating devotion. Let's keep you as maybe a woodcutter for when the wood does grow up. Mm, ten farms. No, I think just chop trees as they become available. Not enough beds for all of our followers, so that's killing devotion. But honestly, I'm just kind of feeling, uh, well, let's go back out and do another dungeon. Are we ready for another dungeon? I guess we are. Let's go ahead and collect this guy's loyalty reward. There we go. Actually, I stand corrected. Let's get one more uh, ritual going. Or Ritual, yes, doctrine. That's what it is. There's so many different words to keep track of that all sound similar here. Sermon. Well, we could also have a sermon. That's true. Daily sermon. All right, everyone. Here's what I wrote down last night, and it sounded good then. Are we able to unlock this? Okay, Curse of the Horde. This is the next one that we can unlock. We had more damage. So what is this? Three new curses appear on our crusades. Good. I, you know, I was okay with the number of curses right there, but you know, the more the merrier. And it looks as though we'll be getting more hearts from now on. Now, I want to make this next one count because I really want to take down Leshy this time. You saw how difficult Leshy was before. But do we have enough for any ritual? Again, no, mainly due to the lack of wood. God, we gotta, f we gotta take the wood path the next time on our next crusade. Here we are, good. I'm wondering if you could just stay in the base the entire time. You know, just have a good time in here. N nice boy, base only run, never go out into the dungeons. Just stay at home, stay at home and take care of people. Of course, you wouldn't have any followers, so that would kind of stink, but. I think we're good. One guy's sick at home, but he'll recover slowly. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. All right, it looks like we got another ax. I did kind of like the ax. I think I could just dodge a little more. Uh, an explosive projectile. Uh, hold the aim, we'll just test this out on the first person we see. Okay, another lob, similar to them. I think I'm just going to focus, though, entirely on not taking damage because I mean, I mistook this game for being more like Isaac. Like in Isaac, if you lose health, it's pretty easy to find another heart. I'm not gonna say that it's super easy, but there's always a way and means. There clearly are ways to get, wow, there I go, saying, doing exactly the opposite of what I just said. But yeah, I mean, as I was saying, in Isaac, it always feels like it's easy to get back health, and this it just feels like it's a bit more rare in rare form, you know what I mean? There we are. Or like that red stuff, that's fury, that's not heart. When I see red, I think health. Maybe because of like, oh wow, look at all of this crap. That's nice. We can bring that back to our followers. Actually, granted, you know, I did just congratulate this game for its readability. It would be nice if, like, Fury and Health were maybe a slightly different shade. Because that is, those are the two main pickups, and it would be nice to, to see what I'm getting into. Alright. Slight, slight clarification. Man, there we go with another... I'm gonna die again, aren't I? I'm gonna need a health room. I'm gonna need some sort of healthcare room again. Oh, but there we go with another heart, instantly proving myself wrong. I like it when that happens to my advantage. I didn't repair the beds, I didn't receive a didn't malice to faith every day. Ah, uh, maybe that was it. Enemies have a chance to drop a fish. Or curses consume 25% less fervor. 
I say we do this just because the curses have been so far very useful to us. Like, that's pretty much all of our range. I wish I had more range in this game. Okay, so let's go trace down the paths. We don't appear to have a health opportunity here, so that is bad. We have a berry opportunity. We have some sort of, like, store potential. Or we have rectangle and wood, which we did need. Hmm. Methinks... Mystery? No. What is rectangle? Let's find out. Rectangle is... Uh, there we go. <laughs> More cards. Okay, I can't, uh... I can't, I can't complain about that. 10% chance of uh, soul heart when fighting in it. Uh, this is going to clearly be better because we're going to most likely be fighting more than 10 people. So we'll definitely get a soul heart. You know, like the other one was a bird in the hand, which is nice. But at the same time... Uh, wood. This actually occurred to me as being kind of funny about this game, that there are some dungeon rooms where you're literally just harvesting resources. Like, it's just as simple as that. You just get the resources, and then you leave. Uh, obviously, it doesn't take as long as if it were at your base. A little bit of, like, a Clash of Clans kind of vibe about that. Any of you guys play uh, Clash of Clans? I always have to be careful to not say the acronym, because it sounds like a rude word. Um... <laughs> But <laughs> I had all these people I used to play in Clash of Clans that just said King of COC. <laughs> I was like, hey, wait a minute. Oh, I, I get it now. Uh, this makes sense to me. Uh, I do not have any fervor. There we go. Taking it slow against the grass worm people. Who dis? Oh, we got tentacle people. Lightning Quick. We didn't really do so well with Lightning Quick. I think uh, tentacles in four directions versus what we have right now. Honestly, tentacles striking out in four directions sounds kind of badass. So, what does this do? Let's just give it a try. Ah, uh, that's cool. Omnidirectional. But, I kind of like my original thing better. Wait, is this one level five? This one's level four. Okay, I guess I'll take the level five thing. It's not that much worse. It just confuses me to use it. Let's try using it right now. Yum. Somewhat effective. Oh, wait a second. I'm just running. You could really lose health quick in this. Uh, what was that even? Was that some sort of explosion? Yeah, he dodged it in midair, and that threw me off. When did I allow this? I didn't even get a soul heart for many of those ten- At least that had to be ten enemies. Statistically, I'm not doing too well. There, card. Here we go. Another soul heart. Um, as much as- As tempting as this is, I'm gonna keep taking the 10%. Because just- That's gonna help me more in the long run. Throughout the rest of the dungeon. Still no soul heart. I think I've got at least 10 people here. But I am getting better chests. All right, that makes up for it. I do like the soul hearts just because that'll increase the max health, so it'd be a nice thing to have. There we go, and dodge. Dodge your glaive. Ah, dang it. Still no soul heart. Wow. We are very unlucky. Ah, there's a soul heart. I mean, it's not like a full one. And it's not from the enemy from the pickup that I had, but okay. I don't even think I took the better chess card. I think I'm just getting pure luck here. Okay. More fervor. Uh, I do believe that we're heading into the boss now here, though. So let's just make sure we've got everything from the last rooms that we wanted. Uh, I'm not going to get anything from this stuff. Everything is breakable. But is it useful, though, the things that you break? And can you go backward any in any way? No, you can't. 
Just testing out things that might be counterintuitive. Give me the devotion. Good. And then more grass. Is this giving me fervor? Your content do be bussing. Uh, no cap, no cap. Well, thank you very much. I'm trying to fit in with the Gen Z humor these days. The Gen Z, they keep coming out with new words. No one really understands them. I'm going along with it. I'm trying to, for real, for real. Uh, on God, respectfully. Sheesh. There we are. Hey, thank you very much, HP. Oh, that was an unfortunate. I am beginning to see the dodge technique with these guys, though, that once they are mid-aired... Still no soul heart. Once they are in mid-air, then you dodge. At least that is a clear signal, because we are dealing with that enemy quite often. No cap, we're dealing with that enemy a lot. I like that, though. Just, like, explode and then roll out of the way. That seems like a reliable dance technique. Hmm, only two. Convoke a violent eruption of... I believe I already have this. Um, I'll take this because I think it's going to be more useful for poisoning the boss. And it's also a level six item. Okay, we've got two more rooms and then probably we're going to see some boss action after that. We've also got full fervor here. Ooh, I almost walked into spikes. I wonder if I can use some of this stuff to my, like, cover. Here we go. I'm still taking damage from this guy. And yet again, I think we've killed like 20 enemies yet to no soul hearts. Very money back, very money back. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's more. No, I didn't need it. Mm, not ready yet. Not ready yet. One more room. I know I've taken a lot of hits, but none of the items in my build have worked out like they're supposed to. Receive double the health when healing. I guess I'll have to take that. I don't think the other one's going to help me at this point anymore. Not even sure this is. We can recycle these. For so where do we recycle, anyway? Can we look in here? No. Come on. All right, let's just keep on going up toward the boss fight. Hmm. I don't really want to return to my cult. I would like to fight the boss, see if I can get something in here. I doubt it'll go well, but maybe we'll, after we switch out, can we can use recycle our old ability. Oh, that's fair. Mm. Let's give it a shot. Gather as many flowers as I can. Maybe my soul hearts will finally just start kicking in. We'll try to take out the smaller enemies that spawn in this fight against Leshy, and then... Oh God, I'm just gonna skip through this time. Come on, Leshy, do your worst. And we'll try to also fight Leshy at, like, a slightly longer range. So we just poison those boys. Oh, Jesus. Ah, darn it. You know, I think it's the combination of the axe and the dodge that I don't have enough time. After the, yeah, uh, we're dead. We're dead again. Okay, but he's also slow. He's also slow. Come on, put out some more of those nice worm boys. Send me some... Ah, darn it. He went back down underground. Okay, okay. Behold my poison as you send out your close... Whatever that is. Maybe because I'm such a pessimist about it this time, it will actually go well. Soul heart me? No, you could have soul hearted me after that was at least 10. Okay, there we go. We did gather back something in health, though. Didn't take damage from that. Get him out of the damage range. Out of the damage range. Something's happening. Dodging that. Dodging that like the Matrix. 
Still got another Fury ready. Gonna poison him again. Poison boy. Got in another axe hit. Two more. This is a lot of da- That's a lot of damage. Phil Swift here with a lot of damage. Here we go. Think we can get in two? Think we can get in two? Like a slight stutter there. I'm good. Managed to survive it. Oh, now he's hitting us with new and unexpected attacks. Though. Maybe we are recovering health. It's just not... I'm just not seeing it. Hmm? I, I'm actually rather... This is gonna go well. I think I'm going to win this one. Wasn't expe- uh, no, 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 not the right time for a head banging. This isn't a Metallica concert. Come on, here we go. Good. Got him. He's dead. Oh, that actually was slightly difficult on stream. Why must simple tasks be so difficult on stream? It's because I maintained pessimism. Okay, so I took his heart, heart of a heretic. Uh, this is one of the bad guys in the game, too, so that was actually a rather significant fight. Visit the altar in the temple to unleash the power of the red crown. Good! All toward the cult of the lamb. Uh. Oh, new chest! Wow, I'm rich. Trophy for killing Leshy. Okay, so I guess that this is just... Aesthetic, yeah, this is just another decoration. But then we have some toys here. Good. This will make up for all of the defeat I just sustained. I do have kind of a black eye now, though. It's kind of funny that the damage shows up visually on your character. I wonder if there's any more mechanics like that, as in Isaac. You know how sometimes as your character evolves, he just looks totally different. I always find that interesting. Okay, so we come back to glory rather than shame and defeat. And more importantly, we found wood. We found wood. Unless she fell before you like a grain of sand before a tidal wave. Well, not really, but thank you for being so optimistic. I mean, is it... It's some sort of devil. What is a shepherd without a flock? Is this chapter two? What's going on here? Hey, my followers! Most of whom are still alive. Except that one guy who just ascended miraculously somewhere. Hey, you're all adorable. It's so nice to be back around them. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just enjoy the colony management aspect so much. Hang on a second. Alright, you want to talk to me about Brimstone? Uh, Crusades... Yes, I agree. Let us build a lumber yard and a stone mines. There is. Yeah. Yep, I agree with you. Can't rely on me forever. So it's kind of like sending your kids off to college to play this game. You know, like you gotta help them become more independent. So try to do that because they're all in tree pose right now and they don't really know what they're doing. Right, everyone, get out of tree pose and worship with me or whatever. I don't know why. Yeah, there's going to be some cursed stuff said throughout the rest of this game. I believe that these are self-sustaining though, right? Or are we getting... Where are we even getting our seeds from? Picking them up from the plants? Yeah, we are. they are self-sustaining. Good to know, good to know. We we did find some of them in the dungeons, if I'm, if I'm right, right? Are these at full size yet? Wait, this one's not at... Did it become, like, overripe? Oh, camellia. I doubt we're really using that for the food, but... Well, all right, I guess it's okay. So we plant the rest of this, and then what I was more looking forward to was, um... Well, not in my dangerous-looking cult building right now, but I want to build the, some of the more of those automation things. All right, let's, um... Uh, excuse me, let's try to not cannibalize somebody this time. Let's just use normal meat. Meat gruel. I guess that's fine. Nah, it could cause exhaustion. This could increase loyalty. Uh, we don't want to increase the chances of instant poop. Though poop can be good. 
poop can lead to healthier meals in the future. You know what I mean? Hmm. If all the cultists got some solid... Yes, there could be some organ harvesting, I suppose. I don't think that's in this game, though. Hmm. Faith follower. Economy. Okay, let's get this lumber yard going. So this was the main debacle we were trying to address. We've got a lumber yard, gold. Go ahead and put that there. And let's just cancel. We gotta get a stone yard. Because, look, there's no trees growing. Well, there are, but there aren't that many, and I don't want to use those up right away. I want my followers to wait till they're full grown. Hmm. I guess the other thing we would want to do... Can we do collect divine inspiration? So now here... We want to do this. Stone mine. Okay, so now we have those two major resources. More or less automated once we get that going in the ground. One times divine inspiration, so we need to fill this meter again. I'm just going to receive that. I just want to say that this game has fantastic animation. Like, as somebody who spends a lot of time doing animation in Adobe, like the screen rumble is just really nice to look at. Here it is. I didn't even receive a key or any. I, I paid for this game, so I'm not. I'm in no way affiliated <laughs> or being endorsed to say that. I just think it's pretty. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I can't imagine how much went into this game, and I guess it was made in Unity. I don't know what made this game. Anyone know the engine? It looks Unity. Okay, so now somebody is in there. Who knows how he's getting wood? Like, just some sort of stump that generates infinite wood. And some sort of rock that generates infinite rock. Might be Dwayne. You in there. Followers help quest complete. Alright, I could, like, keep throwing wood at the problem here, but let's see if we can just get these teepees up. Oh, so we could put these over the... Sleeping huts. Okay, so we that's an upgrade to the shelter. Let's upgrade that one as well, and let's see if we can get that going so that we don't have to keep repairing everybody's bed, maybe. Right? I think it's a waste of time to make your bed, because you're just going to unmake it again the next day, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I feel like I've gotten to that point in my career now that I just want to say that this game is pretty without being paid for it. <laughs> now, maybe it's because we just did a couple of sponsored deals. Yeah. I hadn't done anything like that in a while, though, too. It felt it felt good to... Uh, I don't know. Well, we just got to do some things with friends. I'm not going to lie. It, it feels good to get paid, too, to do some stuff. But, you know, you've got to... Uh, you've got to get your meals somehow, too. But yeah, YouTube can sometimes be unpredictable in that way. Tyna lives here. Assign unoccupied, reassign. Here we go, let's do this. Mm. Stop eating, we're gonna run out of food. Come on, guys. I don't know, maybe it's just me that I just enjoy the colony management part of it. It is very relaxing. It's like, it is Animal Crossing. All right, 75% chance of the deadly dish. 100% chance of dropping valuable resources. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Okay. Right, I guess we'll just harvest this one now. More of that. Can we make a bunch of berry meals or something? Berry basic bowl. Let's just make them a bunch of berry basic bowls. Said we'd do that before and then we didn't. And something is just so satisfying about clicking in the right spot on this extremely easy mini game. I don't even know why this is a mini game, but it is somewhat satisfying. And then look, at the end of it, you have all of these green circles that everyone makes these nice ASMR sounds. Like just, ah, you know, it's it's perfect. All right, now we have to go collect poop. But we should be able to start automating some of this stuff. You know, we've got the wood back there, so they'll start collecting that. I presume they'll bring it to the chest. Maybe not at quite as fast a clip, but good enough for me. Good enough for me, indeed. Let's see if we can make a few more farm plots, too, because I can tell that we're starting to get 
more people in our cult than I can actually manage. And have I given my daily sermon yet even? How could I possibly forget my daily sermon? Maybe I'll go out and bless some people as well. Yeah, that, actually that's fair. The feedback loops in this game are satisfying. Like even that, the slight rumble and vibration. I should probably play it with a controller. Uh, permanently gain half a heart. I'm definitely gonna need that because I keep face planting into enemies. So let's just tank it up. Oh, cold boy over there. But kind of nice though that, you know, it's it's got like a nice roguelite mechanic to it. But also too, if you were just really good at the game, I could see you, um, let's just keep doing the loyalty. I wonder what happens when we max it out. Belief in original sin trait. All are born guilty, reduce faith loss when putting a follower in jail who is not dissenting. Um, okay, so just like, you can accuse people of stuff because people are bad. Belief in absolution. Freedom above all else. Every day that begins without anyone in prison gained plus... T well, I don't really plan on putting a bunch of people in prison because that just seems inefficient when I could just sacrifice them, you know? So, fine with that. All right, uh, imputed files is a new trait. Uh, trait will be applied to all members. Okay. I'm sure you could mold them into a very interesting way, though. Like, I will be curious to see what people start doing with challenges. When killed on a crusade run for the first time, sacrifice a follower to be resurrected. You can resurrect... F this is news to me. Okay. Once a day, eat a meal, received a... Uh, oh, I can eat a meal, too, to get a soul heart. That's quite nice. Focus on a crusade run to instantly... Hmm. What is that? Oh, so you could just go back home whenever you want. Eh. Disease heart at the beginning of each crusade run. Honestly, this sounds pretty good. Just eating a meal to get a soul heart. I'll take an extra soul heart if I can at any time. Leaned hard into the base building. Yeah, I mean, it seems like you could just do that. Like, you make it into a colony manager slash explorin' game, as spelunking game as much as you want. But now it seems that we've made some irre irrevocable decisions. Do we have enough for our other ritual? Oh, uh, this one was quite interesting. Like the f so this just gives us more devotion from our cult. But we're pretty good on devotion. I think the only thing we need to do here is pick up doo-doo. There we go. He just produced more. And it's not all a bad thing either. All right, so you have some sort of brimstone thing. Uh, make Valifar eat a bowl of poop. All right, well, he'd be disappointed if I don't, so that's a weird dare. Objectively, that is a weird dare. Very quirky kind of game. Oops, there we go. How do I make a bowl of poop? Hearty meat broth. <laughs> um, where is a bowl of poop? I guess we'll just have to collect some to find out. There we go. Diseased heart would have been good. Does it end the run? Yeah, I don't know. Diseased heart sounded kind of cool, but at the same time, I was just like, Get am, I, do stuff. am I ready for that? Thanks for all the entertainment, MA. Hey, God bless you. Thank you very, very much, Anger Management, for the $50. That's very generous. Honestly, just I hope you guys just enjoy the streams and just don't, please don't ever put yourself at any kind of financial need. That's the one thing I, you know, granted that I say all that stuff, I am kind of creating a free playground here on the internet just by making videos in a sense. Or that's how I kind of feel about this stuff. So I, I, I enjoy it that it's free for anyone to watch, you know. So that's why I'm okay with doing this, the odd sponsored deal here and there. Huh. Though to be fair, I think I pass up 99 out of every 100 I get offered. There's so much fluff that gets in your inbox when you have... Actually, we're now about 500 subscribers away from a million now. Isn't that amazing, everyone? Just under six years in the making. Just under six years in the making. Yeah, thanks for coming out, guys. I don't know. It's just kind of like a special day. It's... 
It, I, honestly, it sur feels surprisingly normal to hit a million subscribers, but it is kind of like one of those bucket list things. I thought it would... I thought I would just start glowing or something like that. You know what I mean? No, like it's just a normal day. Wait, I interrupted him. What the heck? There's so much interaction here. Right, let's just go ahead. I'm blessing it. Blessing my followers. I could give one of them a gift too. Here, I'm gonna give you a gift, Arnatty. You're a really good guy. I like you. Oops. I'll uh, give a blessing. Oh no, he's already got a necklace. Never mind. You already uh, are necklaced. Necklaced. Mm. Look at how happy they are. <laughs> All right, wait a second. What did I press for that? Select file. Oh, I'm not doing this right. Oh well. I don't know. I mean, my thing is that it does feel kind of like a chore. Sometimes just going around the base and doing exactly the same things to them every single day. So I'm kind of like, I want to get back into the dungeon because I know that's going to give me more, appreciably more progress. Generate devotion faster. I should give this one to another devotion guy though. All right, who's devoting themselves? Pewty. You don't have a necklace. Have a devotion necklace. There you go. Work harder. Um, I'm gonna just bless you because I don't really like you as much. All right, um, great, do your job. Oh, and yeah, we gotta get these farm plots working, right? Yeah, so let's do a couple more of those just so we have enough food because it's becoming more people than we can possibly sustain now. Let's get a couple more of these. We have kids to feed, man. Here we go, another there. This is rather satisfying. I'm surprised that they made the grid diagonal instead of, you know what I mean? Like instead of orthogonal. I mean, they are just a normal square grid, but ah, that's nice. I am experiencing satisfaction. Look at how they'll help me build, though. They're going to come over and use their sentient intelligence in order <laughs> to help me accomplish my task. That's nice. Look at how helpful they are. Look, I'm even, I don't even have to do this. I'm just going to go around and collect more poop, and then when I get back, everything will be fixed because I fed them all of those doo-doo meals. It's a good time. You guys want me to bless you? Ch I bless everybody in chat. No, I don't think I can do that. I think I would need a miter in order to bless you. Yeah, it's like oddly relaxing. So, I, I don't know, I never expected that I would enjoy being a sheep in a, as the leader of a cult. Maybe you just gotta give it a chance, though. Another sermon, another sermon. Here, here. You know those kinds of sermons? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have one of those ones. Uh, great day. That's what I do when I'm on YouTube and I'm just feeling down. I just watch some sermons. Those kinds. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stop right where I'm at. <laughs> Well, there's so many, so many of those up on the internet. You know, people running around in circles and yelling. It looks like a good time. They're having a good time. Hmm. There. This is a little bit monotonous right here. We should be able to. I wonder if there's like a farm upgrade we could get because this guy merely waters. But I'm going to leave you to your watering because I have other quests to complete. Yeah, I can't this Ah, here we are. Okay, so once we take out the four things, then the big boy thing will become available. So, new locale. All right, I guess we'll force him to eat a bowl of poop when we come back. That sounds like a great after party. Okay, so now that I have this number of followers, I've opened up the next gate. And this allows me to go into the place. I believe, th is this one like the mountain area? That was the forest area. I think one of them is a water area. Yeah, that was forest. Anchor deep. Probably water. Judging by the water. Anura, like fall themed. And then spider themed. Nice. 
So it's actually just Undertale. You know, I've never played Undertale. I know the music from it really well, and I love it, but... That's sweet. Devastating melee attack. Ooh, this can be charged? I don't even read my other one. I see my things. Player, player. Here we go. Devastating spike gloves. Weak at first, but devastating on a complete combo. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. So how does this thing work? Charge? Oh, that's my right. Like, okay, I see. So... I'm wearing... That's actually kind of metal again. I'm wearing, like, brass knuckles. Let's read this, find out what this place is. Entering the lands of the Bishop Hecat, those who do not follow the ways of the Old Faith will be destroyed. Kind of saw that one coming, but it's Hecat. We know we're now against. Right, so let's see what this is. That is good. I like that. Ah, new enemies, new lore, new deep lore. So we got more pumpkin seeds. Okay, so then this is more flora to be planted back at the base. And are we getting anything from these resources? Maybe it's like more of a stony area? This area looks trapped. Yep, it's trapped. I wonder if we could trap them. Yep. That was my smart boy moment to the scream. There we go. Be trapped? No, it didn't hit him. But, like, there's more than meets the eye, you know? You would think that this is just kind of a smooth brain, click, clickety-clack type of dungeon. But, it, my god, look at how... Beyond how beautiful it is, there is more thinking involved, and I'm not really doing a very good job at it. Enemies drop more fervor. Uh, chance to spawn better chests. I kind of like the better chests. Oh, if I release that line of charge, it gets bigger and then goes behind me? I saw the get bigger part, but the get behind me part is quite nice. So if I do this, then it gets... It's not really gonna get to go behind me, but... Maybe if I have a bigger version of it. You know. That does kind of add to the weapon variety, though. I guess my kind of question here is... It seems like that the weapons... Like, I don't really get an appreciable difference between a sword and axe and brass knuckles. They all just sort of slash. And I appreciate the design art differences. But functionally, they do kind of seem the same. Besides the speed. It would be neat if they had slightly different, I don't know, like slash patterns. Or maybe they are subtly different and I just can't see. Maybe I've not progressed that far yet, but yeah. That's, I suppose, what my reptile brain was wondering about. Another card, another card. Uh, damages everything on screen when hit. Okay, so this is a... Oh, that is quite good. Yes, you're right, that would have been better. Ah, oh, and I forgot to eat a meal before I came. Actually, yes, a diseased heart would have been way better, because that's fantastic. Um, don't want to sacrifice my life. Ooh, a shell, though. That's quite nice. Mollusk. I'll take it. I don't really want to sacrifice my own life, especially not my diseased heart, because that seems more of an offensive loss. You know? Like a, like a skunk spraying a, a fume. I'll take the uh, store. I don't have rabid followers. Yeah, you're right. That is kind of like cannibalism right there. Oh, no. Why would you take this guy? I'll buy him for $8. There we go. We are, after all, using the world's reserve currency. Thank you, Spider-Man. Spider you seem like an... Pardon me for saying this, but you seem like a dingleberry, sir. You, uh... You catch people and then you sell them to me? I might even call you... Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's a uh, war crime going on right there. Just uh, letting that one... Passing that one by. So this is Hecate. This is the second boss. I'm kind of... I wish that these were, like, randomized a little more. You know, like, I almost wish it were a little bit more like Isaac, because I do enjoy the randomization. I guess just in terms of replay value, but... Well, I don't know. I haven't even made it very far in the game. Who am I to say? That is a satisfying to get a attack to get off, man. It's like hawking a loogie. 
Do people, does Gen Z still say Haka Loogie anymore? I'm pretty sure that's a boomer thing to say. They probably just say, uh, mid, mid spit. No cap. Sheesh, that's what they say in Gen Z. I'm fitting in, man. I'm just trying to stay alive. Feed my family. Here we go, here we go. All right, uh, what is this? I don't think I want to trade out my thing. Knocks back enemies within range while also damaging them. No, I just like the thing that I had. I know it's only a level four, but I just mechanically is so good. Ooh, new thing. Uh, Crusader's Blade five, less damage, but more speed. I don't like any of these. But this is number five. I mean, my speed. How is my speed right now? What is my speed with the knuckles? 2.4. No, I think it's, uh, I think this is, like, objectively worse. Tentacles? All right, I'll do the tentacles. No, I don't, I don't really like the tentacles. I think it's a, I think that they look cool. But I don't think they're as good because they don't hit the whole area. You know what I mean? Like this thing. Noom. Oh, wait, he wasn't an enemy. Dang it. Go away, Hecat. Bishops of the old faith, your sins the suffer, star. Oh no, that was one of my... Well, I didn't really like Tyna. But I would prefer to do the bad things to Tyna and not you. Man, what a flex. No, don't make my friends starve. I thought we were playing Don't Starve. No, this is not Don't Starve. Uh, oh darn, I didn't mean to go into the boss room. I messed up. Well, this is a mini boss, so it's not gonna be as bad as the last guy we just fought against. And he is laying an egg. Okay, that's different. Didn't really expect that, honestly. I guess we could just start gathering up stacks of fervor. I did not plan this out accordingly. Ah. Now he's giving up fervor just as we hit him. Take that, and then. Uh, all right, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be a pretty easy game. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of face plant into him. I think I can just win this one through attrition. There's something that just feels great when you don't have to try and you can beat the ball. That's I'm sorry, I really enjoy that type of roguelite that makes me feel overpowered. Oh, but he was secretly misunderstood, and he had a vic he was a victim. I understand. Yeah, shoot first, ask later. Fair, fair. This fruit looks suggestive. What a dumb reward. Eight, eight, or nine. I guess I'll take eight. Jesus. Did I just get all of them? Well, that looked helpful. All right, so that was more what I was expecting in terms of bosses. It seems like you go through a bunch of mini bosses and then you get up to the, the big boy. You know what I mean? Yeah, pumpkin butt. Yeah, they did. I like big pumpkins, and I can tell no untruths. Let's see if there's anything else in the other room. Or is it even worth it? I think we got a new track here. We were talking about the soundtrack. Listen. Listen. Rest of his kin for the deluxe pestilence war. Thanks. Everyone is very abstruse in this game. And like zen. Man, this is poetry, man. All right, you just told me a poem and then flew into space. Augment asunder lament. Based. You know what? Based. All right, I'm just gonna hit you with. I'm gonna hit you with my Gen Z poetry mood. Let's become like my new mo now. Is if someone says something I agree with, I just say mood. Trying to, I'm trying to make people think I'm younger than I am. Yeah. All right, uh, okay, so we unlocked one-fourth. I did my fractions. Did my homework this weekend. I'm kind of curious. I enjoy, like, the feeling of just being extremely overpowered in these types of games. And a little bit, I would like to see, like, maybe a little bit more than just kind of gaining more health. It does feel kind of predictable, the linearity of my progression. But, I mean, you know, with these types of production values, 
He's bound to be wretched by the... I'm feeling like this guy might actually be the good guy. Uh, four chains guarded by one of the bishops. Okay, so we're gonna free him, but then maybe he's actually a bad guy and I get to own my cult at the end. I gave you a new vessel. Yeah, maybe you are kind of bad, too. Defeat the bishops need to become stronger. Sacrifice a follower to deserve more power. Oh, no, I like my followers, though. They're very cute. Sacrifice of Gal... Okay! People we don't like, we get rid of. Good. Have to agree with that. Have to agree. So we're back to the cult. They see me rolling. Who's starving? Who's starving again? I know what I'm doing with you. All right, uh, how do we, uh, what is your, Tyna? All right, we're gonna take you, just a minute. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, we're gonna sacrifice Tyna. Here she comes, here she comes. Um, you, I don't really know much else about your stats. I'm just gonna kind of blindly do this. Thank you for helping, it's been so nice. So sorry you had to get starved. I didn't know it was gonna be a tentacle from the underworld. That looks like a good time. All right, uh, ah, darn, that's all that it was gonna give me? Okay, what is this? Three new accurses up here on the Crusades. What is this? Fervor, increase the total amount of fervor. Oh, that would be quite good. Or necro. Necromantic weapons have a chance to summon dangerous ghosts from dead enemies. Oh, this would be like spawns. It's kind of cool, kind of cool, but I think that the fervor is going to be the best thing for right now, right? Maybe it's not as exciting. No, you know, I'm going to do the exciting thing. Let's get spawns. The exciting thing that's a bad decision. Nope, don't. Tyna's sacrifice was not in vain, guys. It was a very good decision. Tyna supported it, clearly. You, didn't you see the look of happiness on her face? as she was uh, dragged down into the underworld. She wanted this. She wanted this. I'm just noticing that, okay, what happens when we get full loyalty? It's because of how loyal she was wanted to help me more, you know? Taxes. <laughs> loyalty enforcer. A ritual at your temple in which you appoint a follower to loyalty enforcer. Raising, <laughs> it's kind of a funny, I like the name of this. Okay, what is tax though? What the hell? Okay, since we have no other way of getting gold, I think that this is a funny job though, but we have a tax collector? <laughs> yeah, those were screams of joy. Didn't you see that? Tears of joy. Everyone else wanted to be in her position. All right, who wants to be the tax collector? Or is it only one ritual a day? Let's have a sermon while we're all here. Should we kneel uh, after we stand, or... Here we go, and rituals. Can we get that one going, please? Good. All right, who wants to be the tax collector? Now this is getting very much like... Why do they have ages? All right, um... You know what? Let's take whoever's the highest level. I believe it was Tyna, but... All right, Arnati, you can be the tax collector. You just, uh, you seem like a trustworthy guy. So I think it will make uh, for a good offset of how much less everyone will trust you now that you're the tax collector. There we go. Um, I believe we've done everything we're supposed to here. Yeah, good. Hey, uh, we're gonna have to get rid of Andusius too. Oh, I guess we'll have to just take on followers who are okay with being sacrificed. And any that aren't okay with being sacrificed, will sacrifice. <laughs> Something so nice about just having a bountiful, like, cornucopia of food, but it is a little tedious here, I could see. Basic decorations aren't going to help me much. Yeah, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Tax and <laughs> uh, You do make me laugh. Send your followers on a holy quest to gather resources, that is, if they make it back alive. This is an interesting. And what is that thing? Stonehenge over there? I'm just gonna keep not reading the tree. Demonic summoning circle, yes. Absolutely. Can we go back? 
Guys, there were. S <laughs> Did you see what number of devotion there were in it before? <laughs> oh, wow. Is everyone happy? <laughs> look at the look on Arnatty's face. He's just going. <laughs> Everyone's upset with him. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. I don't even think we needed that. Yes, you have done well, Arnatty. Now give me your soul, too. Oh, let me bless the other ones so they aren't as upset with me. Yep, good job giving that money over. Good job. Good job. Yes, we have to eat it, make him eat the bowl of doo doo. Hang on a second. Uh, Valifar, okay, um, Valifar, uh, read your mind, work. Why don't you work on this bowl of doo doo? Find a meal to eat. There's nothing for me to eat. Okay, so we have to make the bowl of doo doo. Uh, unfortunately, there's no doo doo. If we don't have a recipe for doo doo, hearty meat broth. Now, there is doo doo in this, but I don't really want to kill him. Okay. Diarrhea. Stringy meat gruel. I'm okay with this one. Let's cook. We have to succeed on the doo doo meal. Valifar, you eat that doo doo. I never thought this would be a quest in a game. Bowl, eat the bowl of poop. You like that. I can't remember why we're doing this. Someone wanted it to happen. And he's excited. Oh, he's. Look, he's bursting with joy. Look, he's going all the way out here into the grass. Yes, thank you. I need that for the plants. Is there more? You can tell me. I'm trustworthy. I accidentally just blessed him. Um, but yeah, go to bed. I'm sorry I did that to you. Genuinely sorry. I was being facetious. You didn't think I was actually serious, did you? I'm wondering how this is going to evolve mechanically. Because, I mean, to me, like... I would really like to have a very large cult, you know? It's kind of like wanting a big family, IRL. I like people, but... <laughs> I think that's what, like, people who start new religion... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I mean modern ones, guys. <laughs> oh, God. What beautiful flowers you have over there. Oh, wait, I don't want that. Yep, there we go. Feed the cult. I lost my train of thought. I lost my train of thought. Jelly Belly, thank you for gifting the subs. Thank you very much. Mm. Basic berry bowl. Who says it was basic? I thought it was very nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do something different from the main quest now, because I do want you guys to see some of the other parts of this game. You've seen a little bit of the fishing. Um, I'm not sure if we've seen some of that in the VOD. I'll go back and do a little bit of fishing. The fishing wasn't as interesting, though, as this other game. Um, everyone is fed, everyone's happy. Wait, it's night. I would like to get here before night, ideally. Now, if we go ahead and travel, instead of going into the main dungeons and the quests, uh, there is the fishing area, and there's probably gonna be more NPCs. I'd say two more. But I want to go to the Lonely Shack because I thought this was kind of a nice game. You play Knuckle Bones with this guy. So his name is Ratau, I think. And he'll play this game with you, which kind of reminded me of um, Inscription. So we'll accept. I'm going to make a bet. Let's bet. Eh, let's bet all of it. I do like this game. So I'm just going to show you quick how to play. So pretty much you have to cancel out their dice by going, building across from yours and multiply your own dice. And you wanna have a big number and you wanna finish before your opponent. Um, really, really simple game. I know those were kind of vague directions, but you'll get it when I play around. So he goes first, he rolls the dice. Isn't this very inscription? Hey, thank you, Jelly Belly, appreciate that, man. Okay, so I wanna, mm, there's not really much strategy here, but I place these in one of my three columns. And if I had something I could multiply with, there's something across from his. Um, I really want to cancel out his five, though. But I don't want him to have an opportunity to cancel out my six. I think mine is just a slightly better roll, so I'm going to put it across from his. But I'm going to need a five, because I want to cancel his thing out. But I also don't want to give him much of an opportunity here. Um, I want to keep this opportunity open. And that three isn't really that valuable, but my nor is my one very valuable either. So I'm gonna put this over here. 
three. We just haven't really matched. Okay, so now he gets to multiply. Okay, so now what I get to do is cancel out one of his threes. So this would be great to do because I don't want his things multiplying, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Cancel. Oh, that cancels out all of his threes. What a power play. And clearly he's an idiot because he should have played that there, but he's stupid. Um, I don't know why he made that move. But I am playing the game on medium. I'm going to match that up to mine. And that was also a horrible move, but he didn't really get a very good roll. Um... Now it doesn't, it only involves the dice there. It doesn't involve like the total number. I'm just gonna put that there because I don't really have anywhere to put this. One times one is just kind of crap. Uh, let's cancel out his five there. I didn't unfortunately get any multiplication on my side, but it's it's a neat game. And if you manage to get three of a kind, then it's, ah, uh, we missed it there. But if we could have gotten that, that would have been great. Um, yeah, this game wasn't really that productive or interesting, but I did get a multiplication. Ah, he got me. Mm, he has ah, he does have that one five, but unfortunately I can't put that there um, Oh, I, he does have a five there so I can cancel out his five and whenever one person fills up their own side of the board Then the game is over. Okay, so I can multiply six by six. That's a huge play I think I pretty much just won there and now I just play it here and game over and we add up both sides I win 52 to 16 So yeah total side anyway, I, I don't know. I just think it was strangely engaging but yeah, like, who, th who would have thought there was going to be math in the middle of the game, you know what I mean? Which is kind of like, what, yeah, actually that's fair, like a pub game, like something that's... Or I, I, don't, I don't really know what's designated as a pub game, but just something for a long plane ride that I think would be very fun. Um, that's kind of how I see a lot of this. It's neat too that the day-night cycle keeps going, it gives me like sort of a Pokemon Animal Crossing feel. I mean, technically, you really don't even need to go to the dungeons. It's weird. You could just kind of spend your time out here doing stuff. Getting devotion in other ways. Like, you could even do a whole challenge where you just don't go into a dungeon at all. Or Maybe not that, but, you know. There are odd restrictions here and there that you could go with. Anyway, let's go ahead and just do a little fishing. I want to do some of this. Oh, and let's give those extremely grateful people some wood. I really liked them. Here you go. Need more wood. <laughs> this guy makes the best sounds. Uh, yes, I will receive your devotion. Are you out of wood? Do you need more? Um, wait a minute, did we? Do I have wood? No, I forgot to bring wood with me. Oh, alas. All right, well, anyway, I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing here. Fish. Oh, we got some big boys in the water. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, that's not the one I wanted. Oh, no. It's getting back out to sea. There we go. Animal cr animal crossing. There we go. That was strangely relaxing. No, oh, not that one. Ah, oh, man, that's not the one I wanted either. I need a big, thick fish to feed my cult. All right, well, it's still something. Some minnows, some minnows. Come on, please. There we go. Ugh, always with the small fish grabbing. There we are. Well, I'll get them out of the way. I'll get them out of the way. All right, we got a ticket to go see Metallica. There we go. Oh, uh, whoops, wrong one. Why do these Metallica references keep making their way into my stream? I haven't even listened to Metallica in a while. Mm -mm. Okay, big fish boy. I guess we could just use these to feed the cult. Let's we have quite a lot of tuna now. Let's go back to our to our cult and uh, see how they're doing. There we go. Decent load times too. Though I do wonder how this game would perform on like a um, you know like a, an older computer. This computer that I have is very good. I haven't tested it out on my laptop yet. Ah, uh, so we now have to collect things from multiple chests, but that is a goodly amount of stuff. Alright, I say that we just finish this thing up. Mm, go over here. Oh, wait, yes, I needed tuna. Okay, look, uh, someone just came out of the underworld. Bring him in. Have we brought in a new follower? They do have traits. There's just faith when falling ill, so we want to make sure that he doesn't have any doo-doo. It's very laggy on the Switch. I haven't played it on the Switch. Ooh. 
10 farms. Um, worship, chop trees. You know, why don't you just worship? I'm gonna kind of default to that. I think we have enough. Yeah, we have plenty of room for people to continue worshiping stuff. Let's also have some pumpkins, because why not? Oh, it's that guy from before. I didn't even indoctrinate him into my cult. How rude. I hope you can eat pumpkins, because that's what we're having. Although you were a boss, I find you even more adorable than the others. Ooh, this isn't good, though. Don't you have some kind of extra power because you were a boss guy that I fought? Maybe not, but he certainly looks like Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, but now look, he looks so jolly. I feel like if I were in a bad mood, I would just kind of forget about it when I was playing this. Ah, uh, here we are. 10% chance of causing illness sounds good to me. That's pretty low. So far, we've done pretty great with 10% chances. This run all around. Here we go, eat. Eat, you'll like it. I say that we finish off the rest of these sleeping bags. Uh, upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade that. There's a lot of lumber. Yeah, now we're starting to need to go back and produce a lot of the goods. But, you know, the cult is kind of automating itself, and in that I feel justified. The Vox on this bit. Yeah. As somebody, actually, to be fair, as somebody who did a lot of music production a while back, this is actually kind of a great lo-fi soundtrack. A lot of ga actually, not many games I play even attempt lo-fi. Usually, it's just that girl studying who attempts lo-fi. She's never stopped studying. She's always just been in there listening to the same music. I wonder if she missed the test. You know what I'm talking about, the lo-fi girl? Everybody knows lo-fi music girl. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and Google lo-fi music girl. She's been studying for years in multiple pla on multiple platforms. How can she sustain that? Yeah, let's build the last of these huts. Even if somebody doesn't have a bed, at least the rest of you have good beds. In that, I take some comfort. Work, work. But see, they're doing a decent amount of autom automated stuff. It's almost time for another farm, for God's sake. What is this thing? Hey, yeah, fertilizer. Oops, I didn't mean to water that. I'm. That's not my job. That's your job, man. You know, we've also just got to figure out some way to get somebody else to harvest these crops. But I, I believe, like you guys said, as as you go along, the tedium naturally improves. So let's see if we can get more of that stuff unlocked here. I mean, missionary two is the... Oh, uh, wait a second. What is it? Farms. Let's go up the farm track. Scarecrow. What is this? Prevents birds from stealing... I didn't even know that this was a thing that could happen, so that's unfortunate, but that explains the birds. Harvest totem. That would... That's what I need, man. Okay, let's have a refinery. Uh, we'll do that next. Okay, and then I guess that that'll unlock the rest of the farming. I will receive the inspiration. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, I guess, like... To me, I was thinking when I played this game, I guess just overall thoughts and opinion, like, each of the individual things in this game, I feel like that there isn't really as much of, like, a, a big simulation going on in the background as RimWorld. Though, also, too, I haven't kind of gotten very far into the game or, like, a Don't Starve, but maybe it's just that the sum total of, like, all of the minute little satisfying mini-games kind of makes this game into something that's more than the sum of its parts, which is... I don't know, I was trying to figure out why there was, like, this big mania about this game. So that's that's where I'm at, at least in my own head. That's my honest opinion. Um, but yeah, not to sound disparaging or anything. I So far, I like it. But it does feel like it has that travel element. And I'm also, keep in mind, I'm somebody who has very eclectic tastes. Like, if it's not Dwarf Fortress, I very much tend to be kind of a pessimist. I'm ashamed to say. Yeah, like, it checks a lot of boxes, you know? And I also, I do think, I'll say this, a lot of the games that I enjoy are extremely inaccessible. Like, like, um... Like, when I, I tell people that I meet who don't know gaming about the things that I play, they just shake their heads. <laughs> And then when I say The Sims in SimCity, they, okay, they, they can get behind that, and it's kind of... 
Uh, that's that's the one overlap, but yeah, it is funny. Speaking of which, has Dwarf Fortress? Uh, is there any news on that? When uh, when it has a Steam release, I decided I didn't want to learn the UI because the, by the time I learned the UI, the Steam release would be out. So that's the reason I didn't do it. Now let's add the fertilizer. I also definitely recommend playing this with the controller. I mean, I'm not playing it with the controller right now, but it just it appears like it would be more comfortable playing with a controller. 187, we've got 70. Oh, we're so close to the next level of things. Does everyone have a bed? I feel like there's somebody out in the open tonight. Oh well, too bad, too bad. Get it, too bad? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I almost feel like, you know, there's not enough time in the day, though. You know, there's not enough time in the day. Eh, somebody will make it later. Let's see if one of them comes crawling back, though. This is a spider. Are we good? Are we good? We could wait till morning. Let's see if we can do another sermon. Can we do sermons while they're in bed? Sermon. They do, they get out of bed for it. I imagine they're not particularly happy with it, but they were just kidnapped into my cult, so, you know, you do you. All right, good, good, another thing unlocked. Now we do need more fervor, I think that would be, uh, we just didn't have enough of it, I could use more of this. Oof, how many upgrade trees are there? It said eight out of 12, are we at? What number are we at right now? I feel like it's not worth it blessing each individual guy per day. Let's go for it. Go for it with the sermon. So we got Max on Law and Order. Okay. Reassure them that death is not the end. Have them profit. Well, since we're killing them all, let's do that. Necessity of sacrifice. Belief in sacrifice trait. All cult members will gain the belief in sacrifice. Pl okay with it. Other people being sacrificed. Um, lose only negative five... Well, huh. Let's have agency in this cult and let's just do it ourselves. There we go. We're all just okay with it. We're all just gonna close our eyes whenever we sacrifice somebody. Now, I don't know exactly what qualifies as a sacrifice, but I know that we've done several of them, so. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Any more rituals we can do? I just enjoy doing the rituals now we can't right now. Crown. Let's see our crown, though. Um. Uh, no, that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted the sermon unlock tree, but I can't see that otherwise. Yeah, there's so many. It's a little hard to keep track of all the different unlock trees in this game. Like the building. And I appreciate that there are many of them. But it would be nice if I just had a... Can I tab it? I can see all my gear on my character, and there appears to be more stuff that I can do, but I'm trying to find one place where I can... Oh, this is a nice dialogue. Oh, there's actually crests... crests... quests that aren't being tracked. Um, I've had it with base building, though. That's a lot of it for now. I think we're pretty much as strong as we're going to get. Let's just water these. And then we'll head... I say we do another dungeon. Like I said, you know, I mean, this is game, uh... This is a game I feel like you could get really into, but I feel like if I were to do multiple streams on it, it would just get kind of old very fast. So I kind of wanted to show... Wait a minute, why do you have another person? Joking this is not an authorized location. Do you have a, um, a permit? I mean, I'll take him. I, I feel bad whenever I see a cute animal that appears to be suffering, really. Yeah, thank you for complimenting my generics. I just know how to talk on a microphone, that's the truth. Otherwise, I sound like this. This is my real voice. No. I think I get that, though. Like when I used to watch Krebs Coho, I got oddly attached to Krebs' voice. You guys ever watch Krebs Coho? I think he stopped making YouTube videos. I'm like a good guy. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, wake him up in another five minutes. Here we go. Doctrines. More doctrines. Uh, we need more people to worship this statue. Please don't ask why. Good. Tax collecting. Good job. 
This is so oddly scammy. I think we can do another one of these um, sermons. Here we go. Maybe I can unlock something else before my next, like, dungeon quest. Also, too, if you're bad at dungeoneering, you could just stay in here. And... Now we've got... I guess it's determined by cult follower level, because we didn't get the same number of devotion points as number of followers. We got that, and then some. Okay, Arnatti. I'm gonna bless you just because you're doing God's work. Good job. Although that is appearing to make much less of a difference now. Are you leveled up? Yep, give me your devotion. Um, good, we're generating a goodly amount of devotion. Uh, whoops, I did, said I wouldn't do this one next. I said I would do this, here we go. All right, refinery, and I believe this is gonna unlock this whole tree, right? Good. That opened up whole new doors to us. So now we've gotta do a scarecrow, and then what is this harvest to him? Speed of all farm plots within range. Fertilizer. Oh, we could actually just do that with the there's more we could automate. What is this? Farmers will be able to harvest. Okay, yeah, so this is where the more automation comes in. I'll, I'll say, granted, there is quite a lot of, like, hand handiwork that feels a little tedious, but, eh, I mean, it does give the game a little bit more lasting value if you enjoy that. If you enjoy manually harvesting plots, though it is oddly, like, satisfying. Yeah, I feel like I could stay in there for a while. Oh, I just remembered what other game this reminds me of. Is it, um... What's the game that's the, um... Metroidvania, and it's about the... Ho Hollow Knight, yeah. That's what I'm getting other echoes of. Hollow Knight art style. I forgot about that one. I've never actually played all of Hollow Knight. We should do that one on Twitch, though. There's some classics we gotta go back and cover. Um, and also just some cult hits like Bully. I've played Bully, I've been I feel so embarrassed to say if I haven't played fully. There's others I'd like to make a little segment for here on Twitch, though. But I'm enjoying the, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the variety. It's been fun. Hollow Knight is set. It is set. Yeah, I get that kind of feeling with the sword. Damage increased by 1.2 times. I'll take the damage. I tend to just kind of spray and pray, so. I'm giving in to it. Once you get divine inspiration to be your upgrade, some of your stations to be a little more self -made. Ideally. Okay, we're in the mar mushroom kingdom. All right, uh, you seem totally trustworthy. Sozo sent us menticide mushrooms. Praise for mushrooms, his madness grows. Ment ment these people are mentos. Cute voices, though. Oh, a place. Thank you. Whoops, a daisy. I mean, you did give me delicious mushrooms if I killed you, so. I may have just caused a new world war. I do apologize for that. Are you going to say nothing and then leave me again, Mr. Owl? Bonds of familiar, familiar, voracious, of, uh, infectious, cruel, verily. Verily. Okay. Okay, verily. Um, these guys are are deceptively trying to seem like the good guys, but they're actually bad because they're like lawful evil, which is worse than chaotic evil because it purports to be good. Mm. So I'm going to refuse. Oh, and then they revealed that, no, this is baloney. Maybe I should have deceived them with that. I don't know, I wanted to check this game out because I felt like it was, uh. It was that new hotness that everyone was had known about. And this is one of those games, though, that I sometimes wonder, like, will it be here today, gone in a week, you know? But then it'll all be up, and then I'll have missed out on the train, so that's why I wanted to jump on this one while it was good. The other game I'm going to be checking out in a couple of days is far, uh, Farthest Frontier. Pardon me, whenever I start speaking too fast, I start speaking in an Irish brogue. I don't know why. It just happens. So I say farthest frontier. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's just something, it must be something in my past. Maybe it's like an ethnic thing, you know? 
You ever just start speaking in German, if you're German or whatever language you are, even though you don't know it? Kind of like speaking in tongues. Hey, thanks, Simon. Appreciate the raid, man. Honestly, it means a lot. Hope I can get you back one of these days if I catch you on Twitch. Weird mix of Animal Crossing and Binding of Isaac. Uh, yep, uh, I would include those as adjectives. I mean, the one I'm kind of down to is it feels like Rune Factory from Harvest Moon. I think that's the big one. It took me a minute to realize since I hadn't played Rune Factory in a long time. But yeah, all of those would be appropriate uh, labels, I would say. But at the same time, like, this is such a postmodern discussion, if I may say, because... Like, I feel bad when I... I can't help but think it immediately when I start labeling games based on things that I've played before, you know what I mean? But, I mean, naturally it happens because we're... I mean, that's essentially what the VOD channel mainly is. Like, just checking out a lot of games that I like. Honestly, guys, um... I mean, I, this used to be what I would do mainly on YouTube. Like, I would check out games, and I think a lot of people kind of have this as a bit of a dream. But the truth is that you can't really grow on variety very well. There are exceptions. There are exce Hang on a second. This looks like a juicy opportunity. There we are. But the truth is, I mean, I there's, there's a part of me that really enjoys editing, and there's a part of me that just kind of enjoys, like, no frills checking out new indie games. Uh, a la, like, Splattercat, Northern Lion, Nefrium. Uh, a lot of guys I really look up to. Um, but it's very hard to grow on that. And I don't know, this is just a, a nice place, kind of an outlet to check out new stuff, so. I feel like it's very chill and relaxed and low maintenance, and I enjoy that. But, uh, yeah. Where are we now? Hmm. Oh, this is Brimstone Area, too. A lot of people tell me that it helps them sleep somehow. I'm okay with that. Reveal the map. I'll take the, uh, what a lot of people have suggested is a very suggestive looking. <laughs> I also saw uh, the seemingly phallic nature of that card, too. I now see that it's a rabbit foot. Not that I, like, feel any guilt over it, because I think it was just there. But, yeah, I just want to let you know that your sentiment has been heard. And no, your mind isn't that dirty. It's just, that was the one item in this game that I think that they, I mean, if I were the artist, I would have intentionally added the seemingly uh, wiener nature of that card. But that's all I have to say about the rabbit's foot. Hmm, okay, back up we go. Uh, here we go, and... Oh, cool, more shards. Which reminds me of Stone Shard. You know, speaking of other games, we should go back and play that. It's been like two years since I checked out Stone Shard. Okay, this guy, this guy, sorry, this boy was standing in front of the, of the line. There we are. No standing in front of the line. Did I just start... What was that? I thought I just started shooting orbs around me. See what I mean, though? Like, I do feel like a few extra attack types would make this a lot more interesting. I'm liking the alternate room sizes, though. Uh, Death Sweep, I believe we really liked, so we're gonna take that. Or I like. The Lob is pretty good, too, don't you think? I have an amazing voice to fall asleep. What is that supposed to mean? Like, it's very boring, like, it's very boring to read? Well, I mean, the truth is that, like... Mm, hang on a second. I would like to have... I think we should do, like, a podcast or something. But nobody... I tried doing a podcast once, but then nobody watched it. <laughs> so I just went back to making gameplay videos. But I, I do kind of enjoy the gameplay videos because it's just, uh... You don't have to set everything up with people. I don't know, I'm just some... I'm just, just some dingus who's talking to a microphone on the internet. New Zelda game. I mean, pretty much it is a new Zelda game. All right, now I'm getting a little conversational here. But uh, I don't know. That is to say, I'm finding this game very relaxing. And I, I think that, to me, that's its primary value. I'm not... I'm wondering if I'm going to come back to it, though, like in the same way that I would desire to come back to an Isaac. Like, Isaac, I would always come back to because I felt like there is still work that needs to be done. You know what I mean? Like... Oop, uh, there we go. Did we get the top tier of this? No, we didn't. 
That is sad. That is sad. That's interesting. I can also... Wait a second. I'm going to be poisoned for your entertainment. No. Alas, I failed at getting poisoned for you. I like that mechanic, though. It looked like you could... Crusader's Blade 5. Trader's Blade. So, how do be the... Oh, I didn't mean to do it like that. I messed up. I messed up there. Just straight up Smackledorf that. Oh well, okay, we're going to have to take an item that I don't want, but at least it is kind of fast and it'll force me. I can see how this is a slightly different weapon style now. Okay. You know, I like being proven wrong if it's something that I like, where I, it turns out that I was just ne very negative from the beginning. Are there even people in there? are people in here. Remind me to not ask that in the future. Right when I was talking about things being something that I like, even when I didn't expect them to, and that I enjoyed being wrong in that instance. This is just turning into verbal diarrhea. Ah. Okay, great. An opportunity at redemption, or... Yeah, I'll just take that. I didn't really enjoy that anyway. Although, I've said that I enjoy the axe, and yet my performance with it has been... sub... Optimal. Mr. Owl. How many licks does it... There we are, kid. Yeah, maybe just the slow speed is... Like, maybe that's the thing, is that I, they get an opportunity to hit me when I'm on my recovery. Maybe I did mess up. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I don't want to lose any more hearts. Because this shouldn't be too bad a boss, right? Or we're in the boss's area. I uh, okay, consider that. I'm just gonna go for it. Do that. Didn't actually take out that much health. I'm starting to feel that maybe I'm a little underpowered for this area. That perhaps I should have played the Fisherman's minigame instead. Hounds of Fate 6. Knox Pex enemies range. Okay, let's do this because it's going to seek enemies out. I suppose the one thing that I do kind of feel that's missing in regard to Isaac is that in Isaac, and I'm going to say this because it's a dungeon explorer and roguelite and I can't help but do it a little bit, is that I wish that these power-ups would stack a little bit more rather than me having to choose them. Like, and I'm not saying that it has to be exactly like that, but sometimes, like, that's where the real serotonin kicks in when I'm playing that game is when... Ooh, this is a bad power-up. More like a power-down. I might have to go back and get the other power-up. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my slash. I know it's not as good, but... Yeah, it's like if... <laughs> yeah, if Binding of Isaac and Don't Starve had a baby in a, <laughs> on steroids, that's a very good way to describe the appearance of it. I'll also say, though, like, perhaps the prettiest game I've played this year. Oh, I like these rooms because they don't have mines, and I can use them against them. There we go. Good. Yes, so much heart. Paths, whatever that is. Give it to me. I, I know, I, I do want to be OP, because it is more of a roguelite at heart, I feel like. Like, Isaac is a roguelike. And I do, I do kind of appreciate... Well, this is a philosophical debate for another time about roguelites. Some people don't like it. You know, TLDR, some people don't like it in Isaac when you get too overpowered for a run. For me, I live for overpowered I Isaac runs. To me, that's the best feeling. Yeah, some of these things just don't really yield that much either. I'm not saying that everything has to have a purpose. Ah, oh, I accidentally just did it again. Oh, well, we're in a pretty good jockeying for a decent position here. Okay, so although you are in the air, airborne... Oh, what is this? That seems like a very difficult attack to anticipate and prepare for. And these are many verbs that he's sent to me. This is actually a rather annoying boss pattern. How could I possibly do that? But my god, the animation in this game is incredible. Hang on a second. I'm going to die. And it's going to be my fault. How am I supposed to dodge that attack? Kind of difficult. 
Anyway, my performance was way bad in this because I was like killing it with everybody, but I guess that's just the nature of roguelites. Oh, the dodge roll, I could have dodged under them. Ah, that's it. Anyway, remember to dodge roll. I really am not too particularly good at that, but I felt like giving this one a look. I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out with me. Um, where are we now? <laughs> Probably the best production value game I've seen all year. Extremely relaxing. I stand by all the things I said. Kind of curious to see uh, if there's any like little updates or anything. Is my God. Or I could see some really silly things. I, I feel like I should give it a bit more time because it is a bit grindy at first. But you know what? It's been the new hotness. It's been the new hotness, and I like that. I'm probably gonna keep up with my friend Brad, who's uh, playing a bit more of it than me. But anyway, I think I am going to leave it there. Guys, uh, Cult of the Lamb, check it out. I hope you enjoyed. We're going to send somebody else to raid now. Um, hang on a second. Yeah, I know I'm ghosting this cat. I, I should probably... For real, for real, cat. No cap. No cat. Wait, why did he turn into an old man? That's so cute. Old cat? Old cat. 